Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little different because I don't have Tori in it. I went down to visit my family in Florida and I always love to go thrifting. And two of the places I like to go are the Goodwill boutiques. And I know there's only one, I believe, in the entire state of Ohio, and I've never been to it. So this is sort of exciting, and I want to take you with me on an adventure. Uh, the first Goodwill Boutique is one I've been shopping at for probably six years, and I've always bought well. The people are so super sweet. The second Goodwill, I didn't have a very good experience in, and I'm going to show you what I can of that Goodwill. And that's only been open about two years. And then join me back for the recap and I'll show you a few of the things I've got recently. Oh, one thing I do want to tell you though is um, I really don't understand how they determine what stays in a Goodwill boutique. The day I interviewed or talked to the one girl, her manager was in the back and she was busy and couldn't come out. And she can only answer general questions. But it's crazy because a lot of my reseller friends and I, we don't like the fact that they're pulling things from stores because we want a fair chance of buying it. And when it ends up at shopgoodwill.com, it usually goes like outrageous prices. And these blue boutiques are so nice because as you can see, we're getting designer items for a fraction of the cost. And I'm thrilled because it's very discouraging to see things in your local area pulled and put on the internet and you don't even have a chance. If I donate local, I like my stuff to stay local to help the community. So let's get going on the video. Hey everyone, it's Meg with Mother Daughter Thrift. And yes, another windy day. So you've seen us film a lot at the bins in the Goodwill store. But did you know there's something called the Goodwill Boutique? and another name for it's Blue. So I'm here today in Fort Myers, Florida at the Blue Goodwill Boutique. And I'm hoping later on my vacation, I go down to Southern Florida, down by the Everglades, there's another Goodwill Boutique. So I'm hoping today they're gonna let me ask them a few questions just to see what it's like. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Here, here it is. It actually does look like a nice boutique. I don't know if you can see the window. And look here. And I am downtown Fort Myers. It's beautiful downtown. I love it. Ooh, look at the suitcases. And here it is. This is where we are. So let's go in. <laughs> We're going to go first to my favorite place. It's the designer showcase. Oh, we have, let's see, Tori Birch. Ooh, look at that tote. I love those loafers. Um, who is that? Is that Eve St. Laurent? Oh, look at the Chanel. And, um, is that Burberry? I think that's Burberry. Oh, I love it. So now I want to go look for an employee and see if they'd be willing to maybe answer a few questions about Blue. I've actually filmed in here before, but I don't see the manager who I had um, asked permission for about a year ago. She didn't care if I uh, filmed anything, but this is actually asking questions. So I do see um, a lady in the back and I'm gonna go ask real quick and see what she has to say. I really wanna share this with you because we only have like one blue in all of Ohio and I've never been to it. They're sort of unique and I just, do, I wanna be able to share it with everybody. So let's see. Um, okay, so you call it boutique. Now, is it maybe a boutique because you have more designer items? Yeah, that's really what it is. We kind of get the more um, higher end items like the Chico's over there and the we get like the kind of the brand names and we have some better brands right in this little section here. We have Tommy Bahama, Lily Pulitzer, um, 
St. John. Well, I've heard of like the uh, goodwill.com, is it shopwithwill.com, and they have designer things. Mm -hmm. How do you get lucky and get it at your store? They just send it over to us. It kind of just, all the nicer things kind of like transfer to us, but we also get some donations from people. And they have a lot, they bring a lot of their like nicer things here. And it kind of also just depends on like chance and what we get. You know what I mean? Yeah, and sometimes I think if I donate, I like to donate to my local Goodwill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And what about this newer stuff? What's mm -hmm. up with that? Um, well, they have some of these things at the other Goodwills as well, but I haven't seen the jewelry at other Goodwills. But I've seen, like, you see, like, the beach house stuff over yes. here? And the, um, some of the, like, downtown merch and stuff like that, or for tourists and stuff. I've seen that at other Goodwills, and I've seen the blankets, but I haven't seen much of the jewelry at other Goodwills. Okay. So I think this, they kind of, um, I think we have a person that's in the higher up for our um, Goodwill here, and she goes and gets this jewelry from, I think, Las Vegas. Oh my gosh, okay. Like, so we get it um, sent to like this location, or she picks it up for this location specifically, because I haven't seen this kind of jewelry anywhere else with the Tresca. Tresca. But before I started working here, I never heard of Tresca before. So it must be, I'm not sure if they go pick, I think they're like a sponsor for it or something, I'm not sure. But I don't see this at other Goodwills. Okay. But I see like the blankets and the beach house stuff at other Goodwills. Okay. So I guess it's just new goods. That All they right. Sell. And I, I love your designer showcase. Are you going to be you. putting out any more high-end designer things today? Not today, unfortunately, but I think tomorrow because we oh, get trucks no. on yes. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So um, that's our days that we put a lot of things out. Like we're putting some clothes out now that we left from yesterday because usually we get around like six racks of clothes, like big racks of clothes that we have to go through and like put out. Okay. So we should be getting more tomorrow. Okay, well I was looking for purses. I've mm -hmm. bought Louis Vuitton here before mm -hmm. yep. and some shoes and I love it. And I was hoping to find something today, mm -hmm. but I didn't see anything. Unfortunately, because when we do get good things, they sell pretty quick. Oh yes. Everyone sees it and they're like, I want that right now. Yep, okay. your prices are really good. There okay. You go. Well, thank you. If I think of yeah. something else, I will come back. I'm going to okay. shop around and hopefully find some things. Okay. This store is so well organized. I honestly believe that most people who walk into it have no idea that it's actually a Goodwill. If you look here in the showcase, they have designer perfume sets. They have small, single, real designer perfume like Gucci and Hermes, and then they have some box sets. And over here on the racks, they have closed organized in sections by entire designers. They had Chilka, Oh, chill coat. They had Chico's and they actually had a lily section and one of the signs actually said better brands and they had all kinds of high-end designers mixed in on that one rack. And on top of the uh, clothing racks, you can see there's all kinds of like little knickknacks and different collectible items all through the store. Hard. Oh my gosh. And here is a Hummel. I've actually bought Hummels here before. And this one is $5.99. I have bought so many Hummels and brought them back to Ohio. And I pay anywhere from $3.99 to I think $5.99 is probably the most I've ever paid for one. And they're beautiful and they are all ages and all different designs and styles. And I love it because if you had to shop like goodwill.com, this thing, these would be so much more expensive. So I love the fact that stores are getting their higher end items and not sending them off to the internet all the time. And look at these plates. These plates are I believe, yes, they are Limoges. I thought they were. And look at that, $1.99 for Limoges porcelain. That's crazy. At estate sales and antique shows, they'd probably be at least $10, $15 a piece. Now, things like that, I, I don't want to bother flying home with. It doesn't matter the good deal. It's just they're too fragile. And then in the back of the store, I always look on the wall. Let's see how much that is. That's nice. 
That's, that's not bad if you want a Kate Spade purse, because it's a lot cheaper than going to the store. These are so cute. Look at those. Oh, they're size seven. I can't wear those. Oh my gosh, I love them. The front of the store has a lot of new things and it's nice, but it's not me because when I go to a Goodwill or a thrift store like this, I want to find like higher end and nice items at discounted prices. But you do have to look everywhere because look at this. This is a Fenton vase setting on the shelf with new things. And this is what they do all the time. They knit, mix new and old things together. I've bought some really good things here mixed in. I even bought, I believe, a piece of Lalique last time I was there, and it was just sitting on the shelf too. So definitely have to look at everything. And um, I do. Look at this beautiful drawing set. It has an ink area. The um, oh gosh, $49. That's sort of expensive, but it's complete in the box. I love it. I'm a little expensive. And then they have a men's section. Um, I think my mom's actually bought my dad a few things here before. And it's like, again, um, very well organized in different sections. And there's even men's designer. I actually saw Lily Pulitzer things here for men. I didn't even know that they made. And once again, you have to look everywhere through this entire store just to see what's here. And look at this vase. I thought that was really neat. And of course, it's um, German and it had some writing on it. And look at this. This is pewter and it had some writing on it, but it's rather large. And I think it's not worth the space in the suitcase to take it home for the price. I love it. I just won't make enough on it. So I'm just going to leave it there on the shelf. And let's see what else we can find. I'm actually not finding very much today. I usually buy something nice out of the front showcase, but I'm here on an off day. I know tomorrow is usually when they restock a lot of the purses, and I'm saving a lot of room in my suitcase for the flea market. I'm actually going to be going to the flea market and a church charity jewelry sale that I am very excited about. Ooh, here's Lily Pulitzer. I love wearing Lily when I'm down here, and I think my mom and sister-in-law own every piece from the store. Look at this. Let's see. Oh, $19.99. That's a good deal. Let's see, it has the original store tag. The retail is 78 and their sale price was 59, which I hardly ever see anything on sale at Lily. That's an awesome deal. Ooh, I don't know, I might be tempted to try a few of these things on. Definitely loving it. I'm gonna have to see what size. They might be sort of small for me. Oh, the shorts, I love the pattern of these shorts. And these are good prices. I know they seem high compared to like some regular Goodwill stores, but you got to remember 
these are very high-end clothing and they are discounted pretty good look at that 1999 you see on Facebook Oh, it says Burberry. <laughs> I can't even I read it. In America. I'm like, what? That's not what this is. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here, I'm gonna let's see how much it is. Oh my gosh. That is nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. 129. Oh, thank you. I love it. Mm -hmm. What size are the shoes? They look little. Yeah, six and a half. Oh, forget that. Those I'm an eight really and a half, nine. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. You're and thanks for showing me the store. <laughs> so I decided to try on the Tory Burch sweater. It was a size small, but it fit really nice. I don't know if it was missized or what, but I thought it would go with a lot of things and I'm gonna bring it back to Ohio. I'm not gonna leave it in Florida. But I love the little details on it and the gold buttons. It's really cute. And for $17.99, I think that's a good deal. I ended up looking it up on the Tory Burch website. And it's really hard to believe that the retail price on this was $398. That's surprising. I did find some sold comps on eBay for both $149 and $60, but this is a keeper. I'm not gonna sell it. I'm excited. I'm gonna go check out. I'm excited. And Vicki, you found something. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of my winter clothes down here. <laughs> well, nobody Next in Florida wears like... black, so you're branching out. Well, yeah. Good morning, everyone. We're on our way to our second blue location, otherwise known as the Goodwill Boutique. And we are so far south. We are close to the Everglades, and I want to show you something. Driving down the road, it's probably going to be hard to see, but see this gigantic fence? That's probably, how tall is the fence? 14 feet? Oh, probably 10. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I would say that's a good 14 feet. And the reason the fence is so high is it is to keep the alligators and the panthers off the road. Okay, we are here. It's, look at this. This is the um, church that is the center of the town that everything is built around. Isn't that amazing? And there's mom. Hey, mom. So I'm going to ask the lady if she minds if I ask her a few questions. If she doesn't want me to ask her anything and she doesn't want to be on film, I'll just show you the store. There we are. Blue Boutique. All right. Here we go. So as soon as I walked in the door, they were playing pretty loud copyrighted music. And I noticed there was no one at the checkout counter or anywhere. So I thought, I'll go ahead and film while we're waiting on somebody to show up. And I just wanted to give you an overview. It's set up sort of like the one downtown, very well organized once again. And they had categories of different brands to gather on the racks in groups. And again, designers, 
Oh, and of course, my favorite purses. As you probably know by now watching the channel that I do collect purses. I don't collect much. Oh, this is a really super nice Dooney and Burke, but it's a little pricey. Yeah, that's crazy. 200, and am I reading that right for? $249.99. One thing about this shop, their prices are a lot higher than downtown. And I don't understand why. It's not like your standard Goodwill where like all jeans are $5.99 or, and all blouses are like $2.99. Everything is priced different. And the manager sets the price. But I'm going to keep looking. Oh, look, mom's got a lily skirt. That's pretty. And we always like to look. Now that price, that's about what it, they are downtown. And as I pulled up the comps before, you know, lily skirts usually are anywhere. I guess a hundred's a safe average for a lily skirt. And it's, um, it's a good deal. I, I still think even though, you know, it may be high for just um, a little skirt or pair of shorts, but that is, a, that is still a good deal. And let's see, there are other shoppers in here still. I don't see anybody working here. Let's see if we could see anything else and see if there's some more designers tucked back in here, possibly. And um, like I said, in the past I've seen things and it's crazy because the real and the fake is on the rack together. And I don't know why they put certain things in the showcase that could be totally fake and worthless and they're locked up and then real items are for like that $249 and it's on the shelf. Uh, so I don't know, so a lot of things don't make sense here. But we're gonna just keep shopping until we possibly find the manager or a worker who um, I could talk to about possibly getting interviewed. And let's just sort of shop around. So I continue shopping through the store and still never seeing any employees at all. And I went up towards the front. I wanted to film and look in the designer showcase to see what purses they had locked up. And let's see, um, I'm going to be turning the corner and the very angry woman is going to be coming after me. She comes after me with her duster yelling and screaming at me to turn the camera off. And she never gives me a chance to talk, explain, anything just keeps yelling at me so this video clip is pretty short and i chose not to show or even film or even posting this footage of the woman yelling at me and coming after me with a swiffery like duster thing she was so mad at me and i want you to know when I walked in, it was my mom and I and three other people in the store. I checked my camera footage. We were in the store almost eight minutes. No employee whatsoever. So I filmed. I filmed until I was basically <laughs> almost beaten out of the store with a Swiffer thing, a uh, duster thing. So um, I filmed and you can see how beautiful the store is. But, you know, I don't want to be offensive, but she couldn't speak English very well and saw me and just started coming after me and yelling, no, no, no. And I'm like, what? And she's like, no film. And she just got very offensive. And I said, it's okay, it's okay, I'll turn it off. And she kept getting closer and closer and closer to me with this thing. And I said, no, really, it's okay. I put the, the footage, I put the camera down and I turned the camera off. And honestly, I don't want to get sued. I don't know what would happen, but the woman was scary. And you know, you don't know what's going to happen. This is a wonderful little area, but you know, there was some serious drama and I think I would get a lot of views if I did post a footage, but I'm not going to be mean. And I want to go back there and shop because after I filmed, I ended up buying some things and um, I'll go ahead and show you. She ended up following me through the entire store, okay? And 
I tried to be nice. I told her it was no problem, and, and she threatened to throw me out if I kept filming. She threatened to, it just it, it was just it was just crazy. Anyway, it's okay. <laughs> I turned it off. I put it in my purse, but she followed me throughout the entire store. I did end up getting this Burberry purse, and I love it. This purse is real, and it's um it's beautiful. It's all leather and I paid $99. Now, I wanna tell you something about my favorite Goodwill Blue downtown. They have, which is absolutely crazy, their designer showcase, and everything in that store is $79, basically. So it doesn't matter if it's real or fake, it's $79.99. And I love it because real and fake are in the same showcase. And they don't advertise, they don't authenticate anything. And I know people are probably saying, well, fake, that's horrible to buy fake items, you shouldn't promote that. But these are things that are donated and the employees don't know and they're not sending them to Shop Goodwill, which is, thank goodness, a chance for us to buy them. And I don't even know, I, I guess Shop Goodwill's throwing the stuff away and then it's gonna end up in a landfill. So at least we can recycle if it is fake. So that is what I got. That's the only, oh, that I got down there. That was uh, um, 70, no, 79 or 99. I'm gonna have to look for sure. So I did buy that. That I think was 79, because 79.99 is pretty much it. So um, I did get that. And through the years, when I said I had been buying for about um, six years, I have a lot of things I have bought down there. I can't dig them all out of my closet. <laughs> There's a lot. But I was just going to give you a few highlights. This is a real Louis Vuitton, and it was in the showcase, and it was $79.99. I love it. It's all serial numbered. My loafers are a new style. I think they only discontinued them about a year ago and they're all serial numbered. Look at their handmade. The quality of these is amazing. I love it. The leather is so soft and they're um, actually serial numbered on the inside. I love those, those were $79. And my Todd's, they were $24.99, and I'll put a comp up for those. I love Todd's, all handmade shoes. And then you did see me get my sweater. I love the sweater for $17.99. And through the years, I've got tons of Lily Pulitzer. And this, I did get at the one where I was almost thrown out of. This is a Ferragama, and this is a newer style. I love it. It's all leather and it's got the reversible like, you know, leather and the interior screen um, on the inside in here. I love this. This is Ferragama. This is nice. This is a newer style. Um, what's really crazy is the one in Fort Myers, my favorite. It, like I said, everything's $79.99, but it was really crazy. The one in Ave Maria, the other location, they were just making up prices. So I'm definitely not a professional editor or YouTuber. Our disc ran out of memory, so this is it. This is the end of the video. If you had fun today, please like and subscribe, and I'm sure Tori will be joining me and us on our next adventure. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining in again. Bye-bye.